Today I just want to share a little bit of my process for creating illustrations for Animal Logic. Because I know a lot of people have been asking. Uh, step one is have my handy little assistant next to me. This is the setup that I've had for a while now to illustrate the Oncilla. This is my Wacom tablet. It's the mid-size Wacom Cintiq Pro. It's a pressure sensitive tablet and I use this pen and it essentially looks and feels a lot like drawing on paper. And as you can see, it's all very surface reactive and I can do all kinds of amazing things with this. I like to illustrate using uh, very natural texture looking brushes that mimic paint and charcoal and pencils and things like that to make it look as natural as possible. As you can also see, I have two screens here that I use for uh, displaying all kinds of reference images and photos and videos of the animal in question because I need to make sure that I know what I'm doing and that I know what I'm drawing. And it takes a lot of research to be able to try and represent them accurately. And there's a lot of research that goes into each and every one of these illustrations. So uh, yeah, I just plaster my, my space with as much as I can of these animals. In order to record myself drawing, I use a, a program called Camtasia and that records my whole process on the screen of my tablet. I should probably get rid of all those marks that I've made on my poor Oncilla. And uh, the software that I use to draw is Photoshop. Good old Photoshop. You can do pretty much anything with this program and it's what I was trained with in school. So that's kind of what I'm comfortable with. So yeah, this is the quick rundown of how I do this. I also get a lot of help and motivation from my little friend over here, Nebby. Hey Nebs. So someone was asking what my profession is called. Uh, there's a lot of different terms you could use, but I like scientific illustrator because what I illustrate is a literal representation of information in the world. Um, the side of things that I like to illustrate is biology. So yeah, I put, I put a, an artistic spin on biology. So this week I've been focusing on drawing an Oncilla and um, I gotta say, this one's been really fun because there's so many familiar features of this animal uh, that I see in my own cat. These little small cats are so familiar, except for the fact that they're, you know, just a little bit more exotic looking. Um, I find that Oncillas kind of look like my cat with a chunkier, meatier nose, and to me that's extremely cute. Uh, as everyone knows, I'm a huge cat lover, so I put a lot of love and attention into drawing these wild cats. Um, my favorite part was probably drawing those big, beautiful, spacey eyes. They shine so well. If I could give you one valuable tip for scientific illustration is spend as much time as you can trying to capture all of that detail. Like, it is important to be meticulous and to take your time to really learn what you're looking at. So the more you know what you're trying to draw, the better you're going to be able to spit that information back out onto the page. 